Aloha Aries, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for January 2021. So this is a general message for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please remember it's a general message, so please do take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And for a more complete picture of the month ahead for you, please do check out your rising and your moon signs. Thank you again to all of those of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, hit the bell button, left me comments. All of those things are helping my channel to grow and expand. And thank you to those who have left donations. That way I have been able to make purchase some extra tarot. And um, if you would like a private reading or energy alignment session with me, please do go to my website to book that at www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. Aloha Aries, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your general messages for uh, January 2021. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please remember this is a general reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, it's also a good idea to look at your Rising Sign and your Moon Sign. Watch those videos. That's going to give you an overall picture of how things will go for you and what the general themes are. So we're going to look at um, a general theme for your whole month and in your um, health, career, and love sectors, okay? So let's get on into it. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell button. That is awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're starting off with Kuan Yin. So your overarching energy, who's watching over you is Kuan Yin. This is care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Okay, so um, this is saying this is that divine feminine. So I know Aries that you guys are super passionate. You're fire signs, so you go getters and you're that um, masculine kind of energy in the sense that it's um, action oriented. Kuan Yin is the opposite of that, okay? Kuan Yin is the um, representation of the divine feminine, whether you're male or female matters not. It's your divine feminine side of yourself, the place of non-action. She is all about care and compassion, okay? And so, um, uh, let me see how, um, so they're saying that it's important to um, be in a place of compassion right now, okay? In a place of doing what's best for all involved in the month of January. You may have um, some changes that are occurring or have been occurring, and so you're really going to want to look at all the different angles, what's best for everyone involved, okay? And in January, the energies that are coming through as archetypes that two came out, we have the animal and we have the orphan, okay? So these energies or archetypes are how you will be expressing yourself in the month of January. So the animal is the beast, the wild one, the she-wolf, okay? And so this is saying vital, elemental, alive, and dancing. This is your animalistic nature, okay? So this is coming through for you to really get into that which is primal in you, Aries. That which is your animal nature. The part of you that dances with the rhythm of life. That dances with the rhythm of life, okay? This is, um, the orphan is showing up as the wounded child, the abandoned, the beggar. Um, so this is saying <laughs> deep solace, deep acceptance, deep love. Okay. So what's happening here is I feel like there's a care and compassion that's happening. Aries, I feel like your inner child is going through a healing. And since this showed up in the light position, okay, it's, it's showing that deep love. Okay. You're really coming into a compassion for yourself, for your animalistic nature, like who we are as um, beings, and you're really coming into this acceptance of yourself. You're choosing to be love and compassionate to yourself, 
in the month of January, and I feel like that's really beautiful, Aries. Um, you're really coming into an understanding of your primal essence, and therefore you can move forward with confidence on your path, okay? And you really can do what's best for everyone involved, because I feel like this part of you in the past that felt abandoned or felt like not quite accepted, Aries, I feel like um, this is a month of extreme acceptance, extreme love. Um, you're really going to be accepting yourself and showing um, more of yourself than what maybe you're used to. I feel like um, some of you, even though you can be like really passionate, I think some of you can be, oh, excuse me, dropping stuff on the floor. Some of you can be pretty shy, okay? Uh, and in some regards and it's like you are moving into this acceptance of yourself okay this acceptance of your own being and you're gonna come off much softer than what you maybe have previously okay where I think before you might have had your edges out and this is showing uh, a lot of love, a lot of acceptance that's happening, and um, you're going to present much more um, softly, not quite so, you know, um, not quite so fiery um, this month. Okay. In your health and wellness sector, we have indecision. <laughs> okay. And it says what ch which choice to make. Now I'm just going to look. Okay, it says this card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life. Uh, it shows you looking at two roads. Yet you're standing still c feeling confused. Okay. And so this is saying I release fear and move forward with courage and trust. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always. So in your health and wellness, this can be physical health, your mental health, okay, your spiritual health. So what Spirit's saying, this is an eight, this is the navigator, okay? So navigate from this care and compassion way. Navigate from what makes your heart feel good and your mind feel good and be compassionate with yourself. Make the choice that feels the best for your mental health, your physical health, okay? Um, for some of you, what they're showing me is I'm a massage therapist as well. Um, and so often I do muscle testing with my clients. Okay, so, you know, if you're at a place of indecision with something um, to eat to nourish your body or um, where to go to nourish your mind, etc., you can stand on your two feet, okay, and then... Um, ask the question of yourself or if you have a supplement or something put it in front of your stomach and your left hand and then you know um, ask the question is this good for my body and can my body use it those are two questions is this good for my body and can my body use it and then um, if your body naturally leans forward the magnetics of your body will meet, lean forward that's a yes if it leans back and repels that's a no and um, so that may help you with um, any kind of indecision that you're having because you can ask yourself because you're really tuning in to your primal nature and your inner child in the month of January. So anything with health that you are undecided about, um, you know, which supplement to take, which foods to feed my body. Some of you might be um, looking at eating a new diet or um you know, which things would be best for my mental health. Um, this is going to help you to make that decision because you're going to be asking yourself and your body, like your muscle structure, okay? Um, in career, you got 41, which is seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is the crown chakra. Um, so... I feel like you are really moving up in your spiritual work. Okay, this says spirit connections, intuition, inspiration. Some of you may be moving into channeling work or tarot reading like I'm doing. 
um, you know, it's like, it's, there's great information here. So I feel like you have a lot of like this crown chakra is opening like a lotus. Okay. So you're going to have a lot of information coming in, in the month of January for you, um, through your spiritual center and notice that Archangel Uriel here is holding the book, like the Akashic records. So truly the world is your oyster. This card's a 41. If that resonates with you, brings down to a five, which is the card of change. Okay. So you are really moving into, um, making a career decision, um, based on your spirit. Okay. And whether that be traditionally a spiritual, like a traditional spiritual career, or if you're just using your intuition to make the next investment or to make your next moves, but you're going to go with what um, you're passionate with, um, in, your spiritual house okay this is also saying it's now a great time to get connected um, the assistance from spirit is great so you could be that you're connecting with your ascended masters or just a um, it's saying a powerful friend or family member um, they even open you to the Akashic records um, which is the storehouse of information so what I just showed you here now I do have um, if you have some questions about which path to take, you know, I do have a meditation on my um, channel. So if you look under the meditation playlist, there is a, a guided Akashic record um, guided meditation. So you can do that meditation, enter into your own Akashic records and get the answers that you're asking for to find out what exactly career should you do next. I feel like some of you are making a career change or possibly have been out of work because of coronavirus. And so this new career is going to be coming in from an inspired place. Okay. And then we've got the, um, for your love and romance, we have the fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel 39, um, which is a three. So this is all about communication and expressing your truth. So those of you who are, um, in a relationship, I feel like, you're going to be expressing your truth in the situation that's going to make your love and romance life way better. Right past position. Um, and so, um, and then those of you that are single, I feel like you may have communications coming in. Um, this could be from someone new as well as someone that may be, um, reconciling with you and you get to choose whether you want to be with them or not. I don't feel like a strong way either way because I feel like you are in a transition right now, Aries. So, um, but I do feel like what's important is that you express your truth, that you express exactly what you, um, want to say that you express your, um, light that you express um, your needs, okay? And that's going to, to really kind of open the doors for you. Wow. And oh, outcome, please. Outcome for Aries. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, there's some beautiful new things coming in for you. All right. So... Um, in the past, we have three of pentacles and the page of swords in reversed. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like you've had some community kind of energy, but there's been some indecision. Um, I feel like you have been collaborating with people and I feel like this may have been collaboration out of necessity, not because it was necessarily, um, inspired action, if you will, like, um, and so uh, I also feel like that there's been a little bit of delay on communication because you've been learning some things. Um, you've been learning and growing um, in your um, community and your finances and, and really with that indecision being in your health, wellness, and your mental health, I feel like you've been clearing out that indecision. You've been making some choices and really getting some education on on certain types of topics, okay, so that you can make an informed decision. So in the past, I just feel like you were preparing for what's coming um, and, and making some choices and transition 
for what you already um, were trying to do. So this past energy is saying, like Spirit saying, great job, you have prepared yourself. And it's showing me like when you take a slingshot and you pull it back, I feel like many of you felt pulled back for a time, but now they're going to slingshot you into your future um, trajectory. So they're saying, well done, you handled that well, and now we can move you quickly into your next steps, okay? Uh, your present positions is four of wand and strength. There is strength in your tribe, Aries, okay? This is saying that you have a solid foundation of people who love you, whether you know that they do or not, okay? Um, but I feel like you know these people. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot of them, but there is strength in your community. There's there's celebration in your community. This is a Leo energy. Um, so there's much strength for you right now. And through your community and network right now is what's going to lead you to your future happiness. It's going to lead you to your inspiration. Um, it's going to lead you forward. And by you being part of that community, you're also helping others um, just by being you. So they're showing that um, reach out, talk to your community right now because that's where the strength is and there's opportunity there to move you forward um, both in career and romance, okay? So your future energies, we have the high priestess. This is saying you have learned, you have the energy and the knowledge of the mysteries. You're standing um, in your priestess position, whether you're male or female matters not. Again, remember Kuan Yin, divine feminine, high priestess, okay? These two energies are very, very similar, okay? You are really in that position. High priestess is also Pisces energy, okay? So you may have Pisces um, around you or in your chart, all right? And then the other future energies are the sun and ace of wands. This is saying that the storm is over, okay? The strength from the community the um, decisions that you've made, the studying that you've done in the past, the ways that you've prepared yourself is leading to sunshine after the storm and a passionate new beginning. I feel like for many of you, there's a new beginning coming on multiple levels of your life. This is showing me home and family. This is showing me love and relationship and new career. Like I feel like you're getting all of that new. Um, and it's all going to be very a passion and very loving because what we have as your outcome in the bottom of the deck is um, outcome is Ace of Cups. So there is an offer from the heart coming for you, whether that be for love and romance or whether that be for um, career, something that's going to make you feel good in your heart, in your home and family. And then we have King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. Uh, can be male or female. This is also king of diamonds, but this person is at mastery of their um, finances. They're at mastery of values of currency, how they do energy. Um, so this king of pentacles may very well be a partner coming in for you for love and romance. It's going to um, give you that offer. Okay. Or it very well could be someone who's very well established, um, very knowledgeable, good with their money, entrepreneur. Okay. That's going to help you um, get into the career that you love. Okay. Um, this could be a King of Pentacles, excuse me, King of Diamonds birthday. Okay. Um, so a person who has that birth, like I'm a King of Diamonds, um, for my birthday. And so, um, there's four different dates that are King of Diamonds in the destiny cards, right? So it very well could be that a King of Diamonds birthday, that person is coming in to assist you to, um, give you this offer or give you the direction um, to move forward, okay, into something that you love because you have two aces here and the sun. So you have brand new beginnings and it's a beginning after the storm. So they're saying you have prepared really well, Aries, and now all of these offers are going to come in. Where your strength is right now is in your community and in... Um, your own intuition and in your care and compassion of yourself and others. But um, Aries, those are the messages that I have for you for general reading for January. It looks very good 
there is sunshine after the rain, my friends. You are moving into a time of great love, great abundance, and great compassion, okay? And so just make up your um, mind, choose the path you want to go on, and all those doors are opening for you. So until next time, aloha.